Hello guys, welcome back to the bench and today we're going to go over all new colors added to my Mecca Empire paint lineup. Now this is a repost. I actually finished this working on it throughout the week and uh, with my current situation with the PC dying, uh, it's out trying to recover the hard drive now at the tech place. I, I think I might have lost everything. I'm doing everything by the phone. I did this entire video. I spray painted about five of these on camera. And we went over the colors and it, I just posted it and it crashed. The sound was off. It was no good. I had to scrap it. So not being able to repaint everything, I figured at least I'll show you guys the colors. We'll go over the colors. They're all painted. Every one of these is painted. And so I will show you the colors and we're going to go over that now. But anyway, on to the video. Here we go. Here's all my colors that have just been added on addition to the 20 that were added a few weeks ago. Let's go over them now. Haptism Orange. This is a metallic. Very subtle in the metallic, though. You're not going to see the flakes like you would in a heavy carbon type metallic. Very subtle. But a beautiful Alleluia Haptism Curios Orange. Mr. Blue Sky. Off White. A little more in the gray tone, but uh, a really nice off white. Stain Rust. Here we go. Higher Than Sky Blue. Sonic Yellow. Turk Teal. Freedom Angel Blue is a combination of the Freedom 2.0 Gundam and uh, Blue Angels Blue. Really nice, deep blue. Sledge Black. Not quite black. It's a grayish, bluish black. Really nice, though. Really cool color. My Two Cents. This is a copper penny color. Metallic. Really nice. Exhaust Nozzle. Meteorite Metallic. This is a beautiful, almost a metallic black. I don't think you can probably see it on camera. Now you probably can't. Now I'll show you at the end. We'll show you. It's a really nice color. Mixena Maroon Metallic. Frosty Green. And these all have the ball bearing in them, just like the other ones. On Golden Blonde. Seafoam Metallic. Real pretty green. That's a beauty. Oh, this one you can, you can hear the bearing in there. This is Chromate Gold. There we go. Try to get the lighting just right here. All right. Pyroxene silver. This is a beautiful uh, greenish silver. Really, really, really pretty color. Sunburst bronze. Look at that. Blackened blue. It's the color I showed on my channel. A lot of people are interested in that one. Carbon graphite, real nice. Carbon graphite color, really, really nice. And this is gun barrel blue. This is like a transparent deep blue, but not a candy color. It's like a bluing gun barrel color. Really, really unique. One of my favorites. Uh, we'll go to the neons now. Neon green. Neon chartreuse or yellow. Neon red, neon blue, which is rare. You don't really get many neon or fluorescent blues out there. This is a really nice one, too. And neon orange. Now, uh, here on the bench, they kind of look similar on camera, but now you can see the difference there. When they sprayed, drastic difference. Uh, you'll see in a few minutes the results on those. 
And below here, I have my brushable primer. Now, this can be brushed on, or you can thin it a little bit and airbrush it. So it's a dual-purpose primer. A lot of uh, primers out there are just airbrush only. But some guys will want to just brush it because all these can be brushed nicely. Now you have a, a primer that you can actually brush on too. And if you want to airbrush it, you can thin it out and airbrush it. Now here are my three whites and my three blacks. We have, of course, gloss white, semi-gloss white, and flat white. And the trio of blacks. Gloss black semi-gloss black and flat black and down here I have my clears flat clear which I love this flat clear and semi-gloss clear now my regular shiny gloss clear isn't ready yet but what I really did want was this flat there's not many flat enamel clears in the market believe it or not even the testers hold on let me see if I got some testers here Yeah, the dull coat, guys. Here it is. Had to reach across with the, the room here. See dull coat? Now, you'd think testers would be uh, an enamel, but it isn't. This actually ends up being a lacquer. That's a lacquer. So I wanted a, I wanted the enamel to go with the line, and uh, my buddy Mike pulled this off for me at uh, MCW Finishes, and it is a phenomenal clear. This is my uh, Air Force thinner that I used to thin everything. To airbrush it uh, if you don't buy the thinner of mine please use like a uh, hold on let me reach back here use like a mr. color leveling thinner I recommend it's very similar and uh, it's more of a more of a mild lacquer thinner don't use the hardware store stuff to uh, thin this go, go with the hobby stuff either that or the mr. hobby I highly recommend uh, you guys do that route now uh, I'm gonna show you samples of everything except for the whites and the blacks cuz Let's face it, it's white and black. You know what you get in there, the standards. You should have them all in your arsenal anyway. Um, but uh, to show on camera would be uh, just redundant. Now, I did paint some of the brushable primer. So let me show you here how nice it came out. There we go. Look at that. That's brushed on. You can see some brush strokes. I wanted to do just one quick coat. But I also brushed this Gumpla piece, this foot here. And that's been brushed on. Let me show you what it looked like before. Hard to see. It was like a, there it is, like a brown piece from a Leo kit. So that's how nice it brushes on. That's just brushed on. Very nice. So I figured I'd show you that right off the bat. And um, now because I can't airbrush these at all, uh, unfortunately, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the results of all of them. And uh, we're going to do that now. Let me pause the camera and bring up the color chips. All right, guys, here we are. We got the chips, and the Badger Patriot is back up because we will be giving one away. So stay tuned. Anyway, here we go. Haptism, orange metallic. Uh, here it is. Now, what I did was I sprayed everything over white, gray, and black. All right? Let me show you what I did. Hold on one second. Let me get one of these that are bare. All right, what I did this time was... I took these plastic pieces, these strips, I got these black and white plastic sheets, and uh, I went ahead and put a white, I sprayed one with gray, which is like that. I sprayed one with gray Tamiya, uh, Tamiya uh, primer from the spray can, and I took this black plastic at the end. So you're seeing white, gray, black primer. That's how I came up with so you guys can see the results over three different bases. And here we go. That is Haptism Orange, a very nice orange. White, gray, black base. Look at how nice it's sprayed. Mr. Blue Sky. Now for some reason, this one had a heavy pigment compared to almost all the others. Particularly the blues. But look at it. That's white, gray, and black and there's really no difference at all it just covered just so well a semi-gloss finish to it very very smooth really nice blue off-white off-white over white gray black covered pretty good covered pretty good now if you want to compare it to white there you go 
So there's your off-white, more on the gray tones, almost a bone color. And there it is over gray, much more uh, prominent. In person, it's not as dark as the camera is showing. But I'll hold it up like this, and you can see it to the white of my logo. So off-white. Sludge. Oh, wait, no, this is stained rust. Look at that. Now, not much difference over the black and the gray. The white's a little lighter, but it's a really good rusting stain color, particularly if you're going to do some weathering. And some of the panel line areas dripping down. Really nice. It's sprayed beautifully, by the way. Look how even it's sprayed. Now, I've shown you in my previous video, these brush on as good as they airbrush, so don't be afraid to brush them, too. All right, here we are. Higher than sky blue. Now, this one... It's towards the end when I ran out of some of those black pieces, so I did it like this. Over white, this is a Gumpla piece. Look at that. I just took it off the sprue, the runner, and sprayed it. And look at this. It looks like the plastic was molded in this blue. It came out so good. Now, this is over gray, and this is, these are these new silver spoons they sent me. I asked for these gray plastic, so uh, it simulates, I guess, a gray primer, and that's what it looks like over that. Now you can see the difference. Ready? See it? Much brighter over the white. And this is it over black. So there you go. White, gray, black. Beautiful color. Higher than sky blue. I think that's awesome. Sonic yellow. Get some of the dust off here. Here we go. Look at that. Again, another semi-gloss. Nice finish. You almost don't have to coat this to either panel line or uh, put decals on it. It's just perfect. White, gray base, black. Really covered the, the darker colors pretty well. I mean, it comes out in a different tone, but it covers it really well. It's a really nice yellow. Turk Teal. Again, just like the uh, Mr. Blue Sky, it seemed to cover everything pretty evenly. A little difference in person. Not sure if the light shows it off. Yeah, a little bit. White, gray, black. But look at how nice it covered. An absolute beautiful turquoise teal color. Turk teal. Came out a little different from the packaging, too. From the how it looks in a jar. And that's why we spray these, right? Oops, this is caught under my little stand here. All right, here we go. Freedom Angel Blue. Freedom Angel Blue. Look at that. Is that a beautiful blue? White, gray, black. And you can see it there. That's a good angle for you guys. Look at that. Wow, that's a nice blue. Freedom Angel Blue. All right. Sludge Black. Look at that. See that? It's like a grayish color. Let me show you the difference compared to straight black. Ready? See that? And this is over the black. So there you go. I think this is a great color, particularly maybe for a frame. Uh, it's, it's just a unique, really deep, grayish, smoky, blue, black. I don't know what it is. A sludge black is a... Perfect name for it, but it's a great color. Unique. All right, sledge black. Back you go. All right. My two cents. All right. There we go. How beautiful is that? White, gray, black. Look at this. I think it looks great in the gray the best. It actually has that copper pennyish look to it. But isn't it's such a beautiful, subtle uh, metallic color. That's awesome. My two cents. All right. Exhaust nozzle. Here we go. Exhaust nozzle. White, gray, black. Now, I sprayed some pieces with it. This is straight over a brownish colored from the Leo kit. That's why it looks more like this. Um, 
really tiny parts. I should have got bigger parts, but tough to get master grades cheap for testing, you know, for bigger parts. But that's what it is, exhaust nozzle. It's a very subtle uh, golden brassy color. Really nice. All right, exhaust nozzle. All right, guys. All right, let me pause the camera and get the rest of the colors. Hey guys, all right, moving on. I made a slight mistake, so let's go back a little bit. Just one, my two cents is right here. Here is my two cents. I grabbed the wrong one. It was cut off and I didn't realize. I reached for it, they were right next to each other. So this is the one that looks like a copper penny over white, gray, black. How nice is that? Look at that. Really subtle too when you go over the three. On this one, this really shows the subtlety of the three base colors. But that's my two cents. The other one I showed you was the Sunburst, which is coming up. All right, let's move on. All right, Meteorite. Meteorite, metallic, look at that. Isn't that a great, almost a pearl black color over white, gray, and black. It's tough to get the, the shadings out. There we go. Super nice. Meteorite. Mixena Maroon. All right. White, gray, black. Looks good on all of them. I like it on the gray, I think. Let's see if we can get a nice angle here for you. Look at that. Mixena Maroon. All right. Frosty Green. This one's pretty subtle, too. Let's see. Yeah, not much of a difference. A little bit on the black, but not much. Right there, it's, it's tough to get the angle because the light just kills it. There we go. White, gray, black. Beautiful color. On Golden Blonde. White, gray, black. Obviously. This one changes a lot, too. Let's see if I can get the better angle for you. There we go. That's a nice subtle gold, not really brash looking. Good for highlights. Uh, Seafoam Metallic. Beautiful color. White, gray, black. If I can get the angle here for you. There we go. Certain angles help with the lighting so you can see the shading difference. Beautiful color. Beautiful color. Chromate Gold. Now, it's quite different in person. You can see the difference. It's even more subtle. The chromate gold is even more subtle. White, gray, black. I'm trying to get that angle where you can kind of see the difference. Right there is good. All right. All right, guys. Before I move on to the rest, get these out of the way. Um, leave a comment below. And uh, I'm going to randomly pick a winner of this Extreme Patriot. I tried to give the other one away, and I notified at least three different people that they won, and no one wrote me back to give me their address or anything. It's going on weeks now, so I said, you know what? We'll give it away again. So while we're in the middle of this, uh, before we move on to the colors, don't forget, leave a comment below, leave a thumb up in the video, all right? And I will pick a winner. I'm going to pick a winner out this Saturday. So please be on the lookout in your comments section and your emails. I'm going to reply to you. Should you win, please get back to me so I can give this thing away. I'm just I'm trying to give away a $130 airbrush for free. And I've been having troubles with it. But uh, that's why I'm stopping right now. I'm going to tell you guys right now, leave a comment and a thumb up and subscribe. And you're going to get that airbrush. Should I pick your name? Should the little computer... Do its thing and pick somebody out. Anyway, guys, let me pause the camera, come back up with the rest of the colors. All right, guys, here we go. We'll go to the neons. We'll start with neon green. A neon green. Oh, my hair on that. My doggy hair. All right, well, how nice is this? Very even. It sprayed nice. The... Uh, these are really good neons. I sprayed it over a black plastic spoon, but it came out, you know, just like this black. I'm going to show you that it actually will give you a little bit of coverage. 
But look at that. White, gray, black. That would be great trim. I actually have an idea for uh, Gunpla I'm working on. I'm going to be using neon trim. I think that's going to be one of them. All right. Chartreuse, which is basically yellow. There we go. Yellow, gray, black. Obviously, yellow and the black turned to green. So I tried the same thing over a primered black spoon, and that's what I got. Same thing. Neon red. Neon red. Look at that. That is awesome. Now, when you see them on the shelf here, the, the red looks just like the orange in the lighting, right? Not in person. Here's the orange. <laughs> so, in the jar, they look the same. Once they're sprayed, absolutely not. Anyway, let's focus on the red here. White, gray, black covering. Isn't that awesome? All right. Neon blue. Again, it's... Not too often you get fluorescent blue. For some reason, it's a color that's not made that often. White, gray, black. I sprayed it over this black plastic spoon because it just came in as I was testing. So even that's a little different from the others. Look. How cool is that? A little bit of a different sheen to it over the silver. Awesome. That's an awesome neon blue. Neon orange. I just held that up for you guys. And the... This is a point where, in the filming, I was running out of the plastic, so I sprayed a black spoon. Doesn't work well. I sprayed that silver for my gray. And this is just a, I think this is a, a white primer spoon. That's why it looks dull. But if it's over a, sh a shiny surface, if you're spraying your gumpla just over the white, like I did with the High Earthen Sky, the Mr. Blue Sky there, um, that's what you're going to get, that bright color. And again, let's compare it again, because they look so similar in the jar. Red and orange. And here is red and orange held up together. Quite different. And let's experiment and see if this I can get this to glow. Um, let me tip this a little bit. Let's see if we can get this to glow under a black light. Let me see if I can put the light out. Hold on, guys. Let's see if this works. Yeah, not bad. There's a bit of a glow there. It's tough to capture it on camera. Let's put all the lights out. Hold on. Excuse me, guys, if I bump the camera. Yeah, it's tough for it to show up. You can see the, gar the jars glowing on the, the rack there. But for some reason, I mean, it is really glowing here. But to capture it on camera, for some reason, is tough. It's just whitewashing it for you guys. I mean, this is like glowing in the dark here. Here's my hand. You can see how bright it is. Look at that. It's like it lights up. Wow. All right, then. Lights back on. I'll show you with the light off. There we go. Can you see the glow? Check that out. All right, lights back on. Lights back on. Hold on, guys. I gotta turn on the main light too. Sorry, guys. We did that on the fly. Sorry about that. There you go. Back to normal lighting. All right, guys. Let me pause the camera. Get the ones I did on camera for you guys, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. Let me get this camera back to where it was. All right. Um, we'll show you the flat clear. All right, so here is the red. All right, here is when I sprayed it over the red. How fantastic and matte is that? Believe it or not, it's, it's quite rare. That's why I, I, I worked on this before the regular clear. It's quite rare, believe it or not, to get a, enamel with a flat, clear enamel. And um, I thought Tester's Dull Coat wasn't enamel, but it's not. I found out it's a lacquer. So that's when I requested, can we do a, a flat enamel? And that's what we came up with. Look at how great that is. Look at that. I mean, that takes the dull right out of it. I love this stuff. 
flat clear. Make sure you guys order that. And uh, the semi-gloss, I was just practicing with it. It doesn't show up well on camera. Um, plus, I didn't have much time with my current situation, but uh, I will go over the results, and uh, I'll put some pictures up. We're going to do the clears when I get the, the gloss in. We'll go through all, all of the clears on their own. All right, move on to Pryoxene Silver. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful green tone or what? White, gray, black. Sunburst bronze. White, gray, black. There we go. Awesome. Looks great over the, the gray the best. Black into blue. Here's the spoon I showed on my uh, community uh, section of my channel. But here it is over white, gray, and black. Some, a lot of you guys put it out. It looks like a star galaxy. It actually does. Here is the spoon that I showed on the channel. Look at that. A wonderful color. And you get three different colors here for sure out of that one. Blackened blue. Uh, carbon graphite. Not much difference across the board on this. This is a semi gloss, or I should say, a, almost a matte the way it dries. But it's it really covers well. White, gray, black, but not much of a difference. So uh, this probably doesn't even require a primer. This can go right over anything, and you're going to get this color no matter what. Here it is over the black plastic spoon that I just grabbed. Get the same results. So. Great color though. Graphite, carbon, great color. A lot of uses. And uh, finally, let's wrap it up with Gun Barrel Blue. Here it is across the board. White, gray, black. I saturated the white for some reason, but uh, that's, its, that's its real natural look right there. Great over black too, but very subtle. So what I did was I showed you guys it sprayed over different things. This is a polished aluminum. I sprayed it over and got that. This is it over that spoon where I painted uh, gray primer on the back of the spoon. That's the front. This is a uh, spoon. I mean a spoon. This is a Gumpla piece. I painted with a uh, dark uh, graphite color. Then I put this over it, and there you go. Now you can see it's got that gun blue look to it. Look at that. Really unique. And then all these other spoons are just testing it as I went. This is it over white, but you already seen it over white. And uh, again, this is over the gray spoon with practice. This is that silver spoon they just sent me. Plastic. Look at that. It's almost got that shine to it. Kind of like the uh, over the silver. See that? I mean, over the aluminum. So you could probably spray this over many of the other colors, get all different results. I'm showing you like this because I'm just so impressed by this color. That's it over a uh, uh, off gray primer that I have. This is, I think, testers in the spray can primer. I was just trying it out. And there's the results over that. You get the gist of what you're going to get. You're going to get that gun barrel blue color. I did a lot of these because I really do like this color quite a bit. Should have did one of my Gumpla guns, but I'm out of them. Um, next test, I'll look for some weapons and I'll spray some. I'll put some pictures up. And, um, and that's it. That is the lineup, the current lineup as it is. I didn't show you the blacks and the whites. You know, if, that'd be a little redundant. And I got to keep the video you know, under an hour here because of the way I have to edit it using this phone, which is going to be fun. Um, but there's a lot of wonderful colors here, guys. I want to thank Mike at uh, MCW uh, for putting these together for me. Uh, he did a great job, uh, particularly helped me with the flat clear, which was uh, something that wasn't, uh, wasn't out there at all. And I do love that. But I like many of these colors. They're quite unique. And uh, the names are unique to match the colors. I did my best. The black and blue turned out to be quite popular with you guys. Uh, I'll put a link below to um, where you can pick these up. And uh, my friend Walter at uh, Gundam Pros in Massachusetts will be carrying the full lineup, hopefully by the end of the week. I'll put a link below for them. 
and um, there are more colors to come and I'm gonna maybe the next batch will be some primers and some unique different colors and maybe I might go into the more standard grays and dark blues and whatnot a little more military colors for certain Gumpla and uh, that'll be coming up next but I'll sure to have the primers in in the next batch and uh, hopefully we'll have that in a week or two and I'll keep you guys posted anyway guys thanks for your patience waiting for this video uh, my new computer just came in I think it's an Asus gaming laptop which should be powerful enough to do some of this editing and whatnot I'm still recovering the old files it's at the shop now the hard drive might be dead that's why some of the stuff looked a little different to you guys and it's gonna look a little different again until I can get everything up and running but anyway guys I'll put a link for everything my two airbrushes I used everything I showed here the uh, dusting brush uh, I got this just came in these beautiful tweezers we'll be testing those and um, got these nippers in from Tamiya be testing those i have a lot of tests to go guys so please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already for you just showed you just a couple of all the stuff that's coming up i mean i could barely turn around in the room now with the stuff that's showing up here i might be upgrading the spray boot soon i'll be working on that i'll put that on video too once i do it and uh that's it guys i want you guys to have a great rest of your week uh pick these colors up and you will not be let down i just uh very happy with this this lineup and uh, I know you guys will be too. And thanks, guys, for sticking around for this long video. Uh, we'll be back to normal very soon as far as editing goes. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.